Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here with Packbot to do some more randomized booster packs for your viewing enjoyment. Let's see what we got for us first. Packbot, a pack of Battle Bond. Let's get into it. Um, I think this one has a side zipper jobby thing, which they always confound me. So I still end up opening it the, the standard traditional way. But we're in nonetheless. Pack of Battle Bond, we got a spirit token. A nice island and a nice mystic confluence. Uh, we're gonna scan this up and see how much it's worth. It is a instant for five. Choose three. You may choose the same mode more than once. Counter target spell unless it's controller pays three. Return target creature to its owner's hand or draw a card. Uh, some nice little options. A little pricey to cast. And let's see if it is actually worth anything. Might need to reset my scanner. Give me one minute here. Alright, let's try it again. Scanner activated. 327 for a Mystic Confluence. There we go. Any spicy uncommons? I don't think so. We're just going to go past them. So there we've got some nice commons. Everything's nice in the Battle Bond set, like I always say. There we go. Moving on to the next pack. Corset 9th edition, I believe. It's advanced level. So, uh... You gotta cut your teeth in the beginner circuit first before you get to 9th edition corset. All white border, unless there's a foil. Let's see. We got some bears. 2-2 two -two bears. We got some zombies. Stone Rain, the classic. Raised Dead, the classic. You get a lot of classics in these corsets, right? Just stuff to build on. Kind of basics, right? Got an Angel of Mercy. Confiscate. A Megrum. And a swamp and an underground river. Pretty decent rare there. Um, let's see here. You can add a one colorless to your mana pool or you can tap it to add blue or black to your mana pool. But it deals one damage to you at the time. Um, still a pretty useful card. I think this sees some play in the commander format. And that is why it's 895. So there is a nice little hit right there. Even this swamp. It's pretty nice. It's reprinted from Mirage. Uh, the original printing is a little bit more than average. This one, maybe not so much. Here we go. Next up, Eldritch Moon. Spooky Innistrad block. Let's see what we got. Cultist Staff. A Wretched Griff. A Weirded Vampire. They're already pretty weird to begin with, in my opinion. Slayer's Cleaver. Graph Harvest. Markov Crusader. And Sigarda's Aid, it's an enchantment for one white. You may cast Aura and Equipment spells as though they had Flash. Whenever an Equipment enters the battlefield under control, you may attach it to target creature you control. I feel like this should be a good card. It's five bucks, so that's pretty decent. Yeah, I think that's got uh, quite a bit of play possibility. So the Graph Rats here seems just like an ordinary 2-1 rat creature, right? Nope. If you uh, combine it with the Midnight Scavengers, you can exile them and you turn it into the Chittering Host. And the bottom half would be the other card. And it's like a mega monster creature. Pretty cool. Human Wizard from the, uh, I think it's the Docent of Perfection makes that. Not bad for a token. We're going to pull that one too. There we go. Let's get rid of this stuff. Next up. Hey, an actual pack of Innistrad. That's even better than the Eldridge Man. Let's see what we can get out of this. Hot set this was when it came out. The Innistrad plane is very popular. Because it's got vampires. It's got spirits. It's got humans. It's got insects. Did I, did I mention vampires? Sharpened Pitchfork, Inquisitor's Flail, Rakish Air, and Heartless Summoning. For two, it's an enchantment. Creature spells you cast cost two colorless less to cast. Creatures you control get minus one minus. So there's a little trade-off there. I feel like that's doable. But um, I don't think it sees a whole lot of play. A little bit. A couple bucks there. That's a winner. Got an ooze token. And a werewolf flip card, which I always like those. All right. There we go. Nope. Token stuff goes over here. All right. Next up. In our randomized pack, which I've never seen before. Conspiracy Take the Crown. A set that I never really got to play. 
when it was out. So here I go, get to look at them. Traumatic visions. Hurly burly. Repulse. Evolving wilds. There's another staple. Hail of arrows. Guardian of the gateless. Coordinated assault. And the dusk mantle seer. Downshifted to rare for this printing. It's a 4 4 vampire wizard for 4. It's got flying at the beginning of your upkeep. Each player reveals the top card of his or her library. Loses life equal to that card's converted mana cost. Then puts it into his or her hand. Yeah. It doesn't see much play. It's hard to pull off, I think. I'm not even sure why you would really use it. Assemble the rank and vial of conspiracy. Common. And a zombie token, which is kind of nice. I don't think the zombie tokens are much. Vampire tokens end up being a lot, because I think they're somewhat rare. Gate crash pack. Let's get a shock land. This pack just falls apart here. Hands of biting. I actually like the cipher mechanic. It's kind of like imprint. Um, I don't think it got used a whole lot. Legionnaire. The Gruel Guild Gate. Armor Transport. Sapphire Drake. Bane Alley Broker. Incursion Specialist. And Stolen Identity. There's that cipher. You can just make tokens over and over. It just uh, costs a whole bunch. That's all. Um, put a token onto the battlefield. It's a copy of target artifact or creature. And it's not much. Alright, there we go. What's next? Packbot. It's a pack of Fifth Dawn, priced just right for our convenience, too. Let's see, very old set with some potential spicy pulls here. Oh, yeah, and the mirrors. We've got mirrors all through this thing. And druids, human wizards. They're on mirrored in here. Things are not looking good for the mirrored in plane at this point. A dross crocodile, crazy. Homulox, Arcbound Wanderer, Nim Grotesque, and Helm of Cauldra. Very cool. For three, it's a legendary artifact. Equipped creature has first strike, trample, and haste. You can pay one if you control equipment named Helm of Cauldra, Sword of Cauldra, and Shield of Cauldra. Put a 4 4 colorless avatar legend creature token named Cauldra into play and attach those equipment to it. You pay two to equip this. Very cool. And we got a foil fill with fright. Five bucks for the Helma Cauldra. And some nice foiling on the fill with fright. We'll put in there. All right, next up Corset 2015. What is in this? Elementals and vampires. And goblins. And more elementals. And we got a Johnny's Pride Mate. Diffusion Sliver. So the slivers are pretty good. I'm going to scan this one. Paragon of Eternal Wilds. Diffusion Sliver is a buck. And a Genesis Hydra. For uh, X and 2 green. It's a Plant Hydra 00. When you cast Genesis Hydra, reveal the top X cards of your library. You may put a non land permanent card with converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Then shuffle the rest into your library. Genesis Hydra enters the battlefield with X, one with counters on it. Hydras have come back in style a bit. Apparently not this one. And it's a different version. I imagine it's about the same. Yep, 95 cents. There we go. Okay, I think this is the second to last pack. Kanzatar Kier. So I recently just opened a big box for patrons, and this is part of the leftovers, so... I believe my patrons got all the fetch lands, but you never know. Let's see what's left here. Got some Efreet monks. Got some artifacts and berserkers. And scour barons. We got a winter flame. Keru bloodsucker. Nomad outpost and not a fetch land, but an end hostilities. For five, it's a sorcery. Destroy all creatures and all permanents attached to creatures. So you can get rid of those pesky equipments as well for a measly 49 cents all right this is the last pack let's make it be an ass whooping it's a pack of zendikar let's go ox
scope expedition map just got reprinted or it's about to currently sitting at four bucks territory of Bayloth, a Terran timber grove fun set at least got a summoner's bane which might be a little bit let's see nope it's not marsh casualties quest for the gem blades and an archive trap it's an instant trap for five if an opponent searched his or her library this turn you may pay zero rather than pay archive traps mana cost target opponent puts the top 13 cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard well that probably goes pretty well with the new uh, commander from jumpstart um, the the mill commander let's see if that's had an effect on this not bad 1050 I don't think it used to be that much and we got a nice full art island and a foil quest for ancient secrets the uh, full art island is nice and a quest for ancient secrets in foil let's see if it's anything not really even as a foil it's probably only 38 cents but there we go that is my random packs for today thank you for watching tragic mtg make sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos you have a good one